Aloran Pockets here, back again, finally playing some more EVE Online. It has been like three months I've been on kind of a hiatus, unfortunately. Uh, kind of a forced hiatus, not something I chose to do. Uh, many of you have reached out, you know, I'm waiting for surgery. Nothing super major, just been waiting three months and it's made me uncomfortable and grouchy, which means I haven't been felt, felt like playing or recording and just so on and so on. But I'm starting to feel good now. Uh, like I said, still waiting for the surgery, but you know I've made some life changes and got myself into a better state of mind. So we're going to give this a try. Hopefully it holds. Um, I did record a video at the end of April, just the stuff we're going to cover today, but the video corrupted, which was also kind of part of my downward spiral. Uh, felt bad. So we are going to... There's some stuff we missed that happened at the end of April. Uh, so this video is going to be a quick catch-up on Cassandra and what we're doing with her, and just kind of showing... What, what this is all about. So there are some steps that you guys will have missed because the video that I did them in was corrupt. So here's what happened. At the end of the last video for Cassandra, I'm uh, just going to get right into it, we finished up the career agents and we were going to get set up to start doing anomalies, combat exploration. Uh, and so what I did in the video that corrupted, what I did between this video and the last that you guys saw, I sold everything except for this Tristan and the modules that went on it, and I saved a couple little things that I might want to use, like some ammo, that sort of thing. Um, so part of what you can see is we have a little bit of stuff at Jita. This is where I went to sell it. This is just some stuff I wanted to hold on to. Just some ammo here. Um, some hobgoblins in case we need them. Some more ammo. So on. Uh, and Branks, there's just a little bit of sort of stuff just laying around that I picked up in the last video doing some anomalies. This is some loot and stuff from that. And same here in Pemin, there's some loot and stuff like that, and stuff we got from the daily hand-ins. Uh, so what I did is I sold absolutely everything, sold it locally, flew to Cheetah, sold a little bit of things, purchased some stuff to upgrade our Tristan, and then I flew to Pemin. I did decide that I'm going to do Galente because I wanted to live near um, Malro to take advantage of Malro services. So we're going to use take advantage of the buyback program that we have and that sort of thing, uh, just to make, because I'm too lazy to go to market a lot and sell things. Uh, so what we've done since then is we set up our Tristan and we set up, we started setting up a Catalyst. Now, the Catalyst is actually further along. In that last video, it was sort of pieced together from scraps. It had like two salvagers on it because that's what I had available to me. Since then, I've had some bits donated from court mates and stuff like that. So we have built up both our Tristan and our salvager a little bit uh, since the first, since the end of the career agents. It's I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see that part, but here we have it. Uh, we're actually going to drop this salvager because we're not using it anymore. Uh, just remove it. We're actually not going to use this salvager anymore. Unfit. That's how you do that. Uh, it's been three months. So I'm going to have to remember how to play. Like Literally, this is maybe the second time I've logged in since the end of April. Uh, so in the high slots, currently we're running 150mm prototype gauze guns with antimatter charges. We are running a 100, one mega newton monopropellant enduring afterburner, and two eugenic eutet, eutectic eutectic compact cap rechargers. These are the meta ones. Uh, eventually, we want to upgrade these to twos if we can. We may not have the power grid for it, but we can try that. Uh, we don't need to be stable, but there's not really much else to put in the mid slots that's going to bend that's going to fit that'll benefit us. You know, we could put drone tracking modules in here, but we don't have the power grid for it. So that just works out. Um, most of our damage is coming from our drones, two thirds, I believe. So we have two T2 drone damage amplifiers and then a small armor repper too, in case we need it. Very rarely do we need to run it, but it's there if we need it. Uh, when we get into the harder sites and we'll talk about the sites in a minute, our rigs are a thermal and kinetic reinforcer just to bring up our thermal and kinetic resist since we are fighting Serpentis. These are the two main damage types. And then a capacitor control circuit. Again, if we didn't need this, we could drop this for some other tanking mod. But it's nice being kept stable. You can run your your repper and your afterburner constantly, so you don't have to worry about it. And then just for drones, we're running five Hobgoblin 1s for now. We'll eventually get trained into 2s, but we can't do that yet because we're still pretty early. And a Hobgoblin 1. Now at the time, I did talk through it, and we spent a little bit of our bonus skill points just to speed up the training, uh, mostly to fit the Tech 2 um, da drone damage amplifiers. And we're currently training our weapon upgrades 5. We don't actually need weapon upgrades 5, but I threw this one at the end because it's a long train, so when I don't log in for a bit, I jumped on about 
a week ago <laughs> to load up some skills. Um, I did try to record that, but it didn't go so well. Uh, so what we do actually need here is we were we want to go to make sure we have weapon upgrades. Advanced weapon upgrades is what we should actually be looking for, which is an engineering right here. Uh, but we can't currently afford the book. 1.3 million. We're at 700,000. So once you get weapon upgrades to four, you can train advanced weapon upgrades, which increases your reduces the power grid needs of your weapons and launchers. And that's a pretty good skill to have. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to kind of cap out capacitor management and weapon upgrades and uh, energy grid upgrades. We may do up to four at least, but I want to get our fitting skills up. So that's kind of where I'm focusing for now. Uh, we will get up to T2 drones at some point, but I want to get some of the fitting skills while we're just grinding out these and gr grinding up some ISK anyways, because we can't really afford to fit up the next ship at the moment. Uh, so that's that. Let's take a look at the salvager now. So this here I built over... I started with almost nothing, and we built it over the episode that never rec that corrupted and we didn't get to see it. But I know I'm rambling. It's been a while since I've recorded. There's a lot to remember from three months ago. So you'll just have to bear with me. Uh, this here is actually just some leftover salvage. Um, I was going to take it to market, so I loaded it up in my frigate, but then I just didn't go. Uh, so this is clean sweep. Uh, so when I started, I had one tractor beam. Uh, these are like one and a half million apiece. They're expensive. Two more were given to me, so that's great. Uh, they asked to be remain anonymous, but a court B gave those to me, so that's awesome. And the salvagers, I actually have one extra salvager now. I was going to do two tractors originally and six salvagers, but we'll have to play with that balance. So we do have the extra salvager. We can see how the balance works. Uh, it's going to depend on how fast we salvage. We want more or less tractors. Uh, two, a cap, two cap batteries. Uh, we may actually want to switch this out to a ca uh, recharger. I don't think I have one at the moment, but we could check that. So right now I have a T2 battery, which I just had laying around. I'm not even sure. I think I bought it for the Tristan and then didn't use it. But if we switch this to a... Yeah, you can see I was building out the fit. Recharger. 2 minutes 30. If we go back to the battery... I mean, it's 50, yeah, so the battery is what works. That's fine. So we'll keep the battery. Uh, in the lows, we have cargo expanded cargo hold ones. This is sort of the last upgrade I need to do. I want to get these to cargo expander twos. It gets us over 900 meters cubed. Uh, so to give us more cargo space, we may or may not need it, but that is an upgrade. They're about 300,000 apiece, three to 500, depending on when you buy them. So that's another million. Uh, we got the hull for free from CCP. That was the daily hand in reward or whatever. And then we have salvage tackles just to make this thing salvage better. So we should actually start salvaging really well. I haven't actually flown it yet. I had started piecing it together towards the end of the last video. And between that and while talking to some corpies, they sent me some bits. So this is what we've got to work with. Um, that's one of the advantages of EVE. Find a group of people. Find some friends. You guys can work together. There's it, there's lots of generous people. Just be careful. Don't do anything that feels fishy. Don't give people ISK. <laughs> just outright for anything. Um and so on you know always watch what you're doing but uh if you do want to find a good group of people that are very helpful come check out malro um stay with us as long as you want there's no hard feelings once you do, if you decide to leave and go to null sec or low sec that's kind of part of the deal if you don't find what you're looking for with us we're hoping to get you set up to the point where you're comfortable doing the next thing so that's going to be the plug for today we're going to go and show what we're actually doing so that's the preamble uh, just keep in mind, I will be putting timestamps in the video down below, so if you want to skip my preamble and the fitting discussion, uh, we can. you can certainly, certainly do that and skip to the parts that you're interested in. On to what we're doing. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, yep, yeah, that's all fine. They're going to remove their fittings because a lot of them are out of date. That's cool. Uh, this is EVE University site, if you don't know. wiki.eveuniversity.org just all the information you could want if there's something you need to know come here and read it um this is where i get most of my information and then between this and talking to people in the court and people i know but this is a great place to come for stuff that you don't know you can read all about it uh, so this is for me right now is an alternative alternative to running missions so from the combat missions you could go straight into level one missions your frigate go to level two missions upgrade to a, just a destroyer or a cruiser 
you kind of want to be in a cruiser by the end of tech t2 missions battle cruiser to level threes into and then grind and grinding it into a battleship for level fours that is an option i did that before i have a whole series where i did that on cursed if you want to see that check that out this is some this is an option you can do in addition to that so when you don't feel like running missions you can jump in go do these combat sites but i'm going to do it as an alternative to the missions i'm not going to run missions i'm going to run combat sites and kind of work our way through the steps of that uh, so you can read through this uh, there's several types so the first type is anomalies these will show up and we will talk about it when we're out they will show up in your probe scanner as fully scanned sites you don't have to scan them down they just show up they're green you can warp to them and run them and in high sec we get up to these uh class 3.1s so these are the ones we're going to be doing here is the serpentis because we're in serpentis space uh, we could fly over to the garistas ones as well and do them uh, the, sh the nice thing about this is that the ship fit is roughly the same they're both kinetic thermal it's just that the serpentis do more thermal or whatever and it's flipped a little bit but yeah the fits are fairly similar we're just doing these because i want to stick close to home for the corp and so th they're basically kind of in order of difficulty the other ones we will be running are the rogue drones which will get these ones um the easiest one here is the hideaways then you get these different hidden forsaken forlorn i'm not sure if we can run the forlorn in our frigate it's been a long time since i tried we may give it a go if we see one they're pretty rare uh hidden we should have no problem with uh forsaken would be a little scratchy and then the burrow refuges and dens will have no pretty much no problem with and what we're currently looking for in these sites and we'll just bring it out bring them up so i'm just uh breaking up tabs here in order so it shows the spawns there's no triggers in these but what we're looking for is we're grinding out these sites and we're looking for this right now bonus spawn get a commander a shadow serpentis watchman now if you're running different groups if you're running it for the garistas in kildari space you're looking for i think they're dread garistas and then there's different ones for the angel cartel and the blood the Angel Katarn Blood Raiders. Uh, so you can see here, if we bring this up, you're going to be looking for Dark Blood Seekers and so on. Uh, so this is what we're looking for now. now. The reason we're looking for this is it has a chance at dropping faction modules and loot. So this is where we're going to get things like Shadow Serpentas, Micro Warp Drives, and Afterburners and that sort of thing. And they can be worth, I mean, most of the time you're not going to get it, but you could get 60 million, 30 to 60 million worth of drops, depending on what drops from it. So that's kind of what we're looking for here. Okay, uh, faction ammo tags may drop faction modules, which is great. So we're going to get Shadow Serpentis ammo for our guns, that sort of thing. Um, it's a small chance. They don't spawn too often. Uh, the second thing, and they spawn in all of these ones. So you can see here, right here, if we kill, this means it's a trigger. So if we kill the Shadow Serpent the Serpentis sentry gun, it triggers the next wave. And then the spy. So we're going to watch those. To, this is how you mitigate kind of the incoming damage. You kill this piece last. Uh, for Lauren will be the same and you can see we're now getting up into destroyers this one we should be able to do maybe it'll be tight uh, this will be a little sketchy until we get into a cruiser maybe an algos uh, so we're gonna watch mostly for the hideaways uh, the burrows again once you kill the spawn you get the waves we're just gonna grind through these and look for these faction spawns uh, after we've done that once we're up to a cruiser so once we're up to our vexer which is the path we're gonna go uh, Tristan, Algos, Vexer. We're going to look for this. Right here, this escalation. We're going to run the burrows. You can get the Serpentis Narcotics Warehouse, which is a special kind of site. We will talk about those more when we get them. It's one that you can find when you scan. Uh, that's super rare. But you can also get them from es escalations. We may see escalations. We're not going to be able to run it in our frigate. So we will be ignoring those for the foreseeable future till we're in our Vexer. If you do want to see this, check my channel. I do have several videos. I have one where I run it in a MOA. I have some Gila running them really fast, and my favorite way of doing it is in a Confessor. I have some videos for all three of those on the channel already if you want to skip ahead. But that's kind of the next stage that we're working towards is getting to run these narcotic warehouses. Uh, the other one that can drop is from the Dens, which are the hydroponics bays, uh, hydroponic sites. These are a lot harder. I haven't run one of these in a very long time. I actually haven't seen one in a very long time uh, pop up. I usually do run them in a Gila you can also take them into a battleship this is kind of going to be the high end of this stage so that's kind of what we're going to we're going to work on all of them looking for those rare spawns so that's great um sort of a stop gap in the middle as we're building up and we get there and we start getting the skills the next tier is the combat signatures the cosmic signatures 
these are ones that show up as unscan as unknown signatures and you got to scan them down and find them and that's the uh, in high sec these four here hide out look out watch and vigil and again they're progressively harder we'll look in detail at these as we start to do them uh they're kind of rated sites and get harder and harder and there's actually we'll look at the first one let's just look at it uh there are limits to what ships you can bring into it so they get a little more complicated because you want to you know we need to have a really good destroyer to do this site right and they have a chance of again the shadow serpent to spawn some better loot uh the other thing we're going to be doing as i said is salvaging so let's look at that so what we're looking for when we salvage is switch back to our ship and the reason we're salvaging because usually at some point it's not going to become worth it once we start running the hydroponic site i'll or the um narcotics warehouse i'll probably stop salvaging at that point because it's better just to quickly run the sites get those we're going to be relying on those escalations but what you can see is right here this is the salvage from a couple of sites it's two or three sites uh, 1.3 million worth and what we're actually looking for are the contaminated contaminated lawrence fluid this drops from serpentis mod mobs and there are 130,000 per unit and you can get a couple to three units per site uh, so this is probably two sites one or two sites worth and then when you're doing the drones you also get the contamin con contaminated wow i can't speak today contaminated nanite f compound again hundred thousand now you can see the rest of it is relatively cheap but we get it in large volumes most of our value comes right here that's kind of what we're looking for i'm going to eventually throw this into the the buyback program and let malro sell it for me looks like i got one maybe so we're just going to get drop all this off check our drone bay make sure it's full and we're going to go to it so yeah that's the fits that's kind of the plan so we're going to do the one dock i'll show you where you look for this so if you don't know if you're kind of new I'll show you how to find your anomalies and it's nice because we actually have one here so this is the probe scanner so you can see here we have a refuge we have a den and a refuge so we're going to try to run these it's possible someone's here it's a little busy at the moment 23 so you may have some friends in there but that's where you're going to find the anomalies um i do have cosmic signatures currently filtered but i'll unfilter them so you can see here these ones here have to be scanned down now these can be wormholes these can be data relic sites these could be combat sites i think that's all they can be there's other sites they can be but yeah so at some point we're going to get a scanner fit on we'll go around and scan these out and then refit for combat we'll probably just put them on our ship find a site dock up but scanning in high sec is really not worth it to me i typically don't do it I mean, I play with it just because it's high competition there's lots of people doing them so it's really hard to find the sites um if you don't know where your combat probe scanner deal unit is if you look right here oh, that's our tactical overlay this one right here if i click on this i get a pop-up we get our moon probe and analysis thing. We get our directional scanner, which is on the left here. We get our probe scanner, which is the one you're seeing here. And then we can show our system map through this. So there's hotkeys, but you can also just use this radial menu to bring them up. Okay. So mine's just over here. Directional scanner over there. I haven't remapped my D scan to spacebar yet, but we'll do that eventually. And yeah, so let's refilter out the cosmic anom anomalies because we're not or signatures because we're not looking for those right now. And we're gonna go run this refuge. And see how this goes so what i'll do is i'll try to run these two sites if we do run them i will come back and loot them uh, so what i usually do is i will bookmark them i'll run for an hour any sites bookmarked along and then we'll go back and get our catalyst and fly to the bookmarks and salvage them up we can use mobile tractors once we get up there use mobile tractor units to condense then we don't have to bring tractor units on our salvager which will speed it up i tend not to do that as much uh, for salvaging just because what happens is they get uh, shot at and looted on you because you can shoot I'm just gonna orbit this at 5,000 it doesn't matter we'll shoot the towers after the frigates because remember this tower here is the spawn wave trigger so once we've got their attention we'll get our drones out we'll shoot that one last we're gonna get this one dead first uh, just because it kind of does the most damage to us typically so we're gonna shoot this one we'll leave this one to the end because that's our spawn it could be our spawn it probably isn't in this one I'm not even gonna really care and we're just gonna grind out the site uh you can see here we're gonna get a little bit of bounty for per unit it's not a lot but it adds up over time and we're not gonna salvage or loot while we're in our frigate here uh, we don't need the armor repper yet so we're just gonna keep grinding all right Nope, get off that, shoot this guy. And you can see here we're just gonna quickly grind through it. 
And the advantage of just kind of keeping a tight circle instead of doing a lot of kiting is it keeps the wrecks closer together. Um, you could kite them, but we're not going to have a tank problem anyway. So the drones are probably going to take... Oh, no, they went to the sentry tower. We're just going to shoot this thing. We don't need to worry about it. Uh, let's see here. So I'll run these two sites and then we'll salvage it up. So what I would do is I'm going to bookmark it now so I don't forget. So Control-B brings up your bookmark. Uh, I'm going to create a folder for this eventually, but we're just going to do this. We're going to say it expires in two days, and we're going to call this salvage1. And I number them so I just don't keep flying back to the same site. And that creates us a bookmark. You could create it over in the center, which would be of benefit as well, but or bookmark a wreck, which is also a way you could do it. So when you do warp in, you land right on it. In fact, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to take this wreck, and we're going to bookmark it, save location. I'm just going to call it 1A, and then I'll delete the other bookmark. You can see I'm doing this while we're running here. Uh, F makes your drones attack your target, and then F1. And if we go to location, you'll see the two bookmarks. We're just going to delete this. Yep, there we go. Uh, the nice thing is now we can set them to expire, so they will expire after two days. Watch our drones, because you can see he's not shooting us, so he may be going after our drones, as long as the things are within 15. Uh, the drones should be okay to take that guy. We'll make sure they help. We just watch to make sure they're not taking damage, and we just grind through the site until it stops spawning mobs. Oh, mobs. <laughs> I've been playing Minecraft with the kids. So I'm saying mobs a lot. Rats is what we call them in EVE. Thank you very much. Get rid of this destroyer. Oh, they went after that one. That's okay. And we're just going to grind through it. This is definitely not the most profitable thing to be doing in EVE, but in the early days, uh, when you're just learning, it's definitely a good thing. It is also something I like to do while I'm relaxing you know I can throw on some Netflix or YouTube chill with that while doing this it doesn't make a ton of this but you can do it quietly so that's gonna be it so we're gonna shift R to bring the drones back online we're reloading our ammo control R to reload shift R to bring back the drones so it's a nice thing to get into the habit at the end of a site control R shift R something I've been practicing now we have our bookmark we have our Rex so we're gonna fly over to the den and we're just gonna go straight to it we're not even I don't know why that's going I don't need that that's probably gonna become a problem People talking to me all over the place. I haven't been online in a while, so I'm going to have to take care of some messages once this recording's done. <laughs> kind of snuck in and went straight to recording. I check blues because sometimes I have friends in the system that are running these sites. And I'm not going to steal a site from, uh, from anybody, let alone a Corpy. Nope, and no. Okay, so. Uh, this one's a little bit harder, so we're hope I'm going to hope that we can just orbit this. We're going to see where the orbit takes us. Uh, we we should be okay. We're not going to bump off anything. We're going to grind out these guys. Uh, afterburner on. Reducing coming damage. Got to get rid of these destroyers quick, quick. We're just going to turn the Ripper on. We can run full. We're cap stable, so we can just run the Ripper constantly. We'll see how this holds. I haven't actually done a den yet with this fit, and this is the hardest. Go after this guy, please. I need these destroyers because they're going to be the hardest thing. These heavy missiles, we'll kind of see if we can see. The heavy missiles shouldn't be doing too much. No, go after this, please. And then we'll probably take out so the cannons. Yeah. It's this guy that's doing it, the cannoneers. The defenders are doing more than the towers. We can bring up our combat log if we wanted to see it. But, uh, this guy, please. And then we'll take out the towers. We'll leave this guy for the end. We, sh we may we get a spawn when we kill the two towers. We might get another tower spawn, but that's okay. So you can see once after the destroyers dropped, so there is a wave where we get a lot of potential destroyers. So you're going to want to watch that and hope that you're up. What we can do is save some capacitor. Not that it matters again because we are cap stable, but it's a good habit to get into is to manage your capacitor. I click that with the mouse, but you can use your F keys. I do kind of both depending on where my mouse is and where my brain goes at the time. Come on, take him down. It's taking so long. We definitely want to upgrade to an Algos, like ASAP. Um, better bonuses. A little bit better tank, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about the tank. It's a destroyer, but we'll do a rep cycle here just to sort of cap that up in case we get a spawn. We don't want to be behind. It does a pretty good chunk of recharge there, too, so that's good. Good chunk of repair. You can just see all the kind of all the wrecks are kind of gathering in this area as they're chasing us. 
So that's going to help us later when we come back in the in the catalyst. Uh, let's go ahead and bookmark one of the wrecks so we don't forget. Save location. Salvage 2. Usually I have a folder for salvage, but don't really need to do that now with the expiring bookmarks, which is nice. It's not as critical. Okay. Oh, we didn't get a spawn off that, so that's good. Use these. Actually, let's uh, let's reload while we kill this guy. Ooh, yeah. So we're gonna actually get rid of the cruisers. Might have more trouble hitting us. Uh, this is gonna be a tough one. We're gonna try to get rid of the destroyers first, and we're gonna turn the ripper on, just have it running, because they're gonna take us down a fair chunk before it gets around. I'm just gonna get ahead of it here while they figure out what they're doing. Um, so spies and scouts look like they're missing us. That's good. Let the drones pick where they go this time. Doing that because it'll be quicker for them. They'll pick the most aggressive target. And then we'll put our guns on the same target. That wasn't so bad, actually. Uh, the afterburner is speeding us up, so they're missing us. So that's good. As long as we're not going to be flying straight towards them. Yeah, so we're circling them. They're roughly centered. So that's the thing to watch. If your orbit is going to take you like directly towards them, you may want to adjust your pilot. Like if. That's all advanced stuff. We'll watch for it as we're playing. It doesn't seem to be necessary at the moment. What I would do is, like, if this guy was on that and I'm flying towards him taking damage, I'd fly sideways across. You couldn't see my hand, but I would sort of double click in space and go across this way. And yeah. So, another thing I've been thinking of doing, just uh, because my recording time is going to be a little more limited, even once I get back to full, um, Echo is starting a deal. She's going to have to be using the office uh, for most of the day, so I'm mostly going to be recording the odd evening and we and on the weekends so i'm thinking of doing is bringing back the pockets quick tips uh, they were a series i did a while ago um, arguably they weren't so quick which is something i want to work on where it's just little things uh, so you can find i have one on manually piloting and i have one on tracking and so i'm looking at doing some more of those where it's just little things that just will help improve and things that a lot of people don't know or things that i've just learned that i never knew uh, so if you're interested in seeing that, definitely let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see that brought back. I'd like to do stuff where it's, you know, 5 to 10, maybe 15 minutes if it's a complicated topic, but keep it into the 5 to 10 minute range. Uh, so if you want to see that, definitely let me know. And if there's some things you would like to see uh, me cover, definitely let me know that as well. Uh, I may actually go back and redo some of the old ones as well, just because they're a little long-winded, as I get. Uh, maybe try to condense them down, but that is something I definitely want to do. It's some of the quick tips where it's just little things that people want to see that are that I can do in five, ten minutes. Uh, so that is something that's been on my mind as well. Uh, I do intend to get into the Triglavian stuff. I have not had a chance to sit down and actually uh, look into it. I did about three weeks ago. I got on for half an hour and I took my my Dracovic out and ran a couple of the Edencom tier 0 sites or tier 1 sites. Uh, but not enough to say that I'm, it's worth it. I just took my fit straight out. I didn't even change it. I just took my, my uh, emergency con conduit, emerging conduit fit from before. Um, it was a little sketchy, a lot more uh, nuding than I was expecting. So some tweaking to do there. So once I get comfortable and I get a grasp of what's going on, I will do some stuff on that. We got to take out these troops. Uh, so one of the things we do do in this is if we see a Shadow Serpentis wreck, which we don't see any here. I didn't even actually look in the last site, but I don't think there was one. If we do see a Shadow Serpentis wreck, we will loot it immediately. Uh, just to get that valuable loot off the grid so it doesn't come and get stolen from us. But this is working pretty well. We're doing okay against this. The destroyers are the scariest thing. I don't know why. Oh, my guns were reloading. That's why. I think. Oh, yeah, he's right on us. Look at this. There's a good shot for the screen shaver. I like it. That'll be a good uh, good thumbnail. You can see it's pretty simple. Now that the destroyer's gone, we should be okay. We are taking a little hit, so where's this? Um, because we stopped. Why is that? No, no, no. Why did we stop? I must have clicked on something. No, no, no. We don't want to stop. We want to be moving against the cruisers. So standing still in this situation is a bad idea because... We're not going to have too much trouble tracking the cruisers, but if we stop, they're going to start hitting us. There we go. Not entirely sure why I stopped. I must have double-clicked on that uh, catalyst. 
That was scary for a second there. That could have gone bad. Okay, and we'll take out this last one. This is maybe the last wave? No, there's one more wave. I think there's one more. And so what I would do is I would do this for an hour. I'd fly around. I would set up a chain of events. I'd go to different, you know, I'd fly over to Mezzi and see if there's any in Messi. There's a couple of the sites. I would do like a circuit, go for about an hour, and then come back, pick up my catalyst, and cruise around and do some more salvaging. So we've got the lowest and the highest end of the sites, the refuge. Actually, I guess hideaway is the lowest. Refuge is kind of the middle of the basic sites here. And we'll see what we get for salvage from these two. So obviously, I'm not going to run for an hour with you guys on camera. I have some ideas for how I'm going to run this going forward. Um, probably do some time lapses where I grind up an hour's worth of sites. Let's get rid of these uh, destroyers first, OK? I talk to my hobgoblins. They seem to perform better if they're treated with a little respect. And I'm thinking I might actually... In fact, I'm going to... While we're grinding up this site, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to switch to doing drones, and we're going to get to... What's our holdup on the drones? Uh, T2 drones. I already actually have this, so we just need the book. That's what the holdup is. If we do... Glinte drone specialization, we need 13 million. So that's the holdup on T2 drones right now. So we're going to focus on that. I may train... I'm going to train these support skills before... Oh yeah, we got to make sure we got to put that in. We got to close this. Because we're in alpha, we can't queue up too big. We're going to do that. I'm going to have to remember to come in and switch that up. Let's actually not split fire. So if we go here... They're on focus fire. I don't know why they split. That's weird. They should have focused, but that can happen sometimes. I'm just going to focus down one of these guys. We don't need to be repping anymore. Uh, these guys can't hit us, so we'll save some capacitor just as good practice. They do take a while to grind through. I do want to get into an Algos where we can fit some more guns on there. That'll be nice. I don't even actually remember what the bonuses to the Algos are. So let's uh, Algos. Start. No, we don't want to do shield. We're not going to do shields. Uh, actually, <laughs> I should do a shield Algos and start training it because if the intent is to go to um, a Gila, we will want the shields. And I think we can do a pretty nice shield Vexer as well. So I might actually start training some shield skills. Uh, what's the bonus on this? Drones and turret tracking. So and it's a 25% damage bonus. Right? Let's now bring up a Tristan. And that's it for the site. That's it for the site. Oh, there we go. So right here. I'm going to hide these so you guys can focus on it. This is the hydroponic site. There is no way I can run this right now. But what you can do, let me get my drones in. Let's get uh, loading, reloading our guns. Turn off our afterburner. Make sure we have our bookmark. We do. And we are going to dock up. Okay, hydroponic site. I'm going to close this. We'll worry about the upgrades shortly. I'm going to go to an Algos for sure. Uh, they changed where it is. So let's see if I can find it. If we go into the agency and we go to exploration right here. So agency, exploration, escalations, or exploration. Oh, this is a low sec one anyway, so I probably wouldn't do it. But what I can do is I can see if anybody in Corp wants this and we could fly out there and give it to them. But this is the one escalation, so we can fly out here. Uh, the nice thing about this is if we're scanning it down, we find it in a scan, that means anybody scanning can find it. This one won't show up on the scanner until we warp to it. So this one's just for us. Now, if we go to low sec, they can try to kill us on the way there. Once we're in it, they can come get us. That sort of thing. So we probably will try some low sec ones with our Vexor at some point. But yeah, this is the escalation, so you would fly out to it. Typically, when I'm just trying to chill, and I don't have time to deal with low sec, I'll just keep grinding away until we find one in high sec and then go run it. But yeah, this is going to be kind of the end game of this section of Cassandra's life. And we will definitely try to run some in low sec once we get there. But let's go ahead and switch out. I didn't even look to see if there was a Serpent Shadow Serpentis, but we're going to switch to Clean Sweep and see how this baby works. Now, again, I haven't actually tried this yet, but I know I've done, I've done this so many times that I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. We are not cap stable, so we may have to monitor but we're not going to be else we're also not going to be continuously running everything uh the, the track tra tractor should only run for a little bit bringing everything into about 5k 
I believe 5k is our range. Yeah. Uh, it's longer on a tech 2, but alphas can't do tech 2s. And we also can't do drones, which is a little bit sad. Salvage drones are not a thing we can do. So we are just going to bookmark. We're going to warp to our first bookmark. Uh, this is the reason there's no after or prop on it, because we shouldn't have to travel too much. We have a 20 kilometer range on our tractor beams. And if we have to move, we can kind of slow boat. We can grab a couple wrecks and slow boat to a closer range, or we can do bookmark bouncing to the other pockets if we need to, where you bookmark one, you know, like 1A, 1B, 1C, then warp off and warp back. So there's lots of little things we can do. Um, we can do MTUs. And again, I don't typically like doing MTUs until I can afford to lose them. Because while they make life easier, they also, their targets, yeah, so kind of everything's within range anyway at this point, except for this one, so we'll track to this one in. We're just going to loot and salvage. We'll take any loot, so these ones that are lootable are actually in range anyways. So we're going to track to this one, that's F8. And then we're just going to wah, 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 wah. And once he gets in range, uh, five. Okay, then we're going to loot this guy because it's in range. This is nice, we'll grab that. In fact, we'll grab this because we're close and we're not going to grab one, but I'll usually leave this one behind because it takes up valuable room. Metal scraps we definitely don't take. And we just target everything up. This one. One, two, three, four, five. We'll take them, but we don't actually usually grab these. Like when I'm just running around, I usually won't take these ones simply because they take up valuable room. Lock up this last one. We'll put some more salvagers on that one. Oops, we don't need to tractor it. We need, uh, like that. There we go. So that's site one. So we did get three of the command. That's awesome. Okay. And then we're going to, now that we're done here, we're going to remove this bookmark. So we don't actually fly back to it. And it's a nice clean bookmark for the next day. And we're going to warp to location at zero. And we're going to salvage up the bigger one. This will be the den, so there'll be a few more wrecks here. You can see that didn't take long at all. So it's kind of a natural evolution. We'll do this for a bit. And then once we start running the uh, narcotics warehouses, we can stop salvaging probably. Just because what we want to be doing is grinding up the Shadow Serpentis dudes and the loot. Because the hydroponic site or narcotics warehouse and hydroponic site will drop bigger loots in the final room. And we'll get there. We will definitely get there. Uh, so this one's out of range. So we're going to grab this. This one's out of range to loot. We'll grab that one. And the third one will be... Uh, let's grab this one. We'll grab these two. These are our tractor targets because they're out of loot range. And then salvage, salvage, loot. We'll take the ammo because we can use it. We're a little bit broke. We can't be, you know. Excellent. And then we can just start uh, salvaging away. Uh, okay, we can untarget that. This is not efficient. It's been a long time since I've done this. So I'm not going to be nearly as efficient as I would like. We can, we can melt those down. I'm going to take care of the looting first, and then we'll just salvage. Let's target these guys, because they're going to take us a hot minute to bring them in. Give them five. Uh -huh. Did I do that right? Can I have that guy going? Oops. Okay. Okay. What about this? Sure. Again, just because it's going to take us... All right, we got all that. We got one more loot coming in. So let's lock up everything we can. We'll start our salvage. Grab that. And we can one, two, three, four, five. And we'll salvage away. We don't need to tractor these anymore so we can conserve some capacitor because that's where our... All right. Nope, not that. Crap. I need to show it to uh, hide the cans after I've looked in them, but that's okay. We'll get to that. Get to that, please. 
Control shift click, it should unlock, thank you. And we'll just salvage this up. Everything else, this one's not in range, this one's not in range, so we gotta grab those next wave. No. I want you to move. So I want you to salvage. Unfortunately we didn't get any big payouts, but that's fine. Six and seven, we'll bring those into range. They're now in range, so we can turn off the tractors. Yeah, that was very inefficient, but with practice, I'll get better at it. Yeah, and this is why I want to do it this way with the more, more salvagers, because as you can see, we're definitely running the salvagers a lot more. Nice thing is we have enough targets that we can... We have Salvagers matches the number of targets, so we can always lock enough to run all of our salvages. Okay, I'm just going to put everything on this last uh, structure here. And we'll see what we got. So this time I also looted more than I normally would. Because I wouldn't take all the modules. Let's grab those. We're just going to double check that I got everything. Take that, doesn't matter. Stop it. Why is it doing that? Okay. Anti-matter charge, we'll put those right into our into use. Oh, that one's too far away. It's uh let's tractor that one in. I think that was a looted one that I didn't bring in far enough, so we'll tractor that in. See this way you double check. I'm so out of practice. I double clicked it, cause and it made it. Okay, nothing in it. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so that's it. All looted, all salvaged, all shot, everything's done. Looks like we do have another Serpentis den we could go run right away if we wanted to. But let's see what we got. I'll use this one, I don't know why. So we stack all this. So just the salvage, which is what we're really focused on, is 1.7 million. So that brings us up to over 3 million if we sell it. It's gonna be a little less than that once we take it to market after taxes and stuff like that. But not bad. And then you can see all this ammo is half, is less than half. It's a third, a quarter. And it takes up 40. And this takes up 0.5. So you can see how picking up these modules is really not worth it. The ISK per meter cubed is not worth it if you're going to do a long run. So I typically don't pick most of this up. I would have grabbed anything that's over about 100,000. So like uh, this one I would have grabbed. That's a pretty good ratio. Plus, we could probably use that. But none of the rest of this stuff would have got picked up, probably. Unless it was the last site. But yeah, so this is what we're after here. 1.7 million, two sites. That's not bad. Stock up, we'll add it to the pile. And I will probably... Once I have enough, I'm not going to do it every time. But once I have enough, I'll throw it into the, uh, the buyback. And we'll see what we can do from there. But hopefully that wasn't too rambly. First video back in a while. There was a lot to cover, a lot to remember. And we are going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below if I messed anything up there. It's been a while. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to see some stuff done up as a quick tips, definitely let me know. I'm going to be compiling a list and I'm going to pick away at them as I can. I do have a little list already, but I'll definitely add to it. And if things get mentioned more than once or things like that, they'll just get pushed to the top if it's things I know. So yeah, great to be back. As always, take care of each other. And see you all next time. I'm out of here.